In the dynamic theater of military aviation, China has boldly asserted itself as a formidable player, propelling its Air Force capabilities to unprecedented heights. We can come and go whenever we want. A tale of advancements, backed by the construction of the third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, and the development of cutting-edge stealth fighters like the J-35, marks a transformative moment in the annals of global military prowess. Now mix those two together, and you may have something the world is not yet ready for. Today's episode will cover how China is working on its aircraft carriers and having its stealth fighters fly off of them. China's strides in military technology, particularly in the aviation sector, have sparked significant interest and concern among Western powers. As the foremost contender challenging U.S. hegemony, China's multifaceted strengths include a substantial nuclear arsenal, the world's largest population, and the second largest economy, poised to potentially surpass the United States. Against this backdrop, China's strategic initiatives, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, further intertwine global economies, contributing to a complex geopolitical landscape. In recent years, China has notably distinguished itself in the realm of military aviation. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, has consistently commanded attention with a series of noteworthy achievements in the Air Force sector, captivating observers and maintaining a vigilant audience attuned to the swift and dynamic progression of China's military aviation prowess. Amidst this evolving landscape, a stealthy newcomer is now emerging on the scene, the J-35, a carrier-capable variant of China's fifth-generation prototype, but how does this aircraft alter the dynamics of global military power? Let's see. China already boasts over 200 Chengdu J-20s, standing alongside the United States as one of the few nations with a meaningful quantity of fifth-generation fighters. However, the J-35 signals China's proactive efforts to diversify its fifth-generation portfolio, showcasing technological prowess and a commitment to military innovation. What impact might the introduction of the J-35 have on the global military balance, especially considering China's ambitious plans for aircraft carriers? Shenyang's pursuit of a fifth-generation fighter began in earnest when the People's Liberation Army Air Force endorsed Chengdu's J-20 stealth fighter. Not to be outdone, Shenyang Aircraft Corporation forged ahead with its own design, the FC-31, aiming to secure export customers who might find the American F-35 Joint Strike Fighter financially out of reach. In 2012, a scaled model of the FC-31 hinted at China's interest in offering an affordable alternative to nations unable to invest in the F-35. Subsequent developments, including government funding and reported interest, culminated in the emergence of the J-35, a carrier-capable variant with enhanced features. Picture this, a sleek, cutting-edge fighter jet, the J-35, taking flight from the deck of a state-of-the-art Chinese aircraft carrier, how does this new player fit into the intricate puzzle of global military strategies? What factors could drive other nations to consider the J-35 as a viable alternative to existing fifth-generation fighters? The J-35's maiden flight in October 2021 marked a significant milestone with expectations that it will operate from the upcoming Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier. Equipped with China's electromagnetic aircraft launch system, Adding to the intrigue, the J-35 boasts features like a catapult launch bar and a wing-fold mechanism, showcasing China's advancements in carrier-based aviation. Imagine the precision and sophistication involved in launching a cutting-edge fighter jet from an advanced carrier deck. As details about the J-35 remain shrouded in secrecy, recent footage has sparked speculation about potential modifications or an entirely new aircraft. Comparisons with the naval J-35 suggest alterations in aerodynamics, raising questions about the purpose and capabilities of this mysterious newcomer. Analysts like aviation journalist Bill Sweetman draw parallels between the Shenyang jet and the US F-22, emphasizing similarities in platform, shape, aerodynamics, 
and airframe configuration. This prompts considerations about the J-35's intended role and potential adversaries, with some suggesting it aligns more closely with the F-22 than the F-35. The plot thickens as experts speculate on the J-35's design inspirations, adding an extra layer of intrigue to its already enigmatic profile. The FC-31 J-35 prototypes reportedly use RD-93 engines, with ongoing efforts to develop an improved WS-13E engine, offering 22,000 pounds of thrust. This upgrade could potentially enhance the J-35's capabilities, making it a formidable contender in the realm of fifth-generation fighters. The main question that remains is, how crucial is the role of advanced engines in determining the success and effectiveness of next-generation fighter aircraft and what advantages might the WS-13E bring to the J-35? With the FC-31's reported ability to handle substantial payloads both internally and externally, and armed with advanced munitions like the PL-10 and PL-12 missiles, the J-35 appears well-equipped to challenge existing fourth-generation fighters. The prospect of it standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of the F-22 and F-35 raises questions about the evolving landscape of aerial warfare. China's third aircraft carrier, named the Fujian, is currently undergoing mooring tests as part of its systematic construction process, as per the disclosure by the Chinese Ministry of National Defense, MOD, on Thursday. This announcement comes in response to foreign media reports speculating that the Fujian has recently initiated tests on its electromagnetic catapult system, a crucial component in preparation for its forthcoming maiden voyage. Senior Colonel Wu Qian, serving as an MOD spokesperson, provided these details during a routine press conference, addressing inquiries from the Global Times. Mooring tests, according to Zhang Zuefeng, a Chinese military expert, serve the purpose of thoroughly examining the integrity and reliability of various aspects of the carrier's construction. This includes the hull, propulsion system, mechanical equipment, electrical devices, and other essential components. Adjustments are then made to ensure the vessel's readiness for navigation, marking a critical phase in the carrier's development. Upon the completion of mooring tests, the next stage involves navigation tests, commonly known as sea trials, as explained by Zhang. Addressing reports from a U.S. media outlet, Newsweek, which claimed that the Fujian had conducted trials of its catapult aircraft launch system, the expert noted that such testing is a significant milestone toward the carrier's ultimate readiness. Fu Qianxiao, another Chinese military expert, emphasized that the Fujian holds a unique status as China's first aircraft carrier equipped with electromagnetic catapults and arresting devices. This cutting-edge technology demands meticulous testing during mooring tests before proceeding to navigation tests. Launching test vehicles during this phase becomes essential to assess the catapult's parameters, including power and acceleration. These tests lay the groundwork for future aircraft takeoff and landing assessments during subsequent navigation tests. Envision a high-stakes aerial duel where the J-35 faces off against some of the most formidable fighter jets in the world. One might wonder what variables beyond technological specifications might determine the success of the J-35 in real-world scenarios, and how might these factors influence its adoption by other nations. While the true capabilities of the J-35 remain shrouded in uncertainty, China's commitment to advancing its domestically built fighter technology is undeniable. The J-35 embodies not only the nation's military prowess, but also its determination to assert itself on the global stage, challenging established norms and potentially reshaping the landscape of modern aerial warfare. As the world watches and speculates, one can't help but wonder what other surprises China may have up its sleeve in the realm of military innovation. With much about how China is working on its aircraft carriers and having its stealth fighters fly off of them covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.